everybody and welcome to MYP year 2 elevate science course for this classic year my name is Catherine Salam and I'll be teaching you this course so throughout this program you will be introduced to cell system human body systems and the role of reproduction and growth in the development of organisms you will also learn about ecosystem as well as populations communities and ecosystem also, you will learn about the distribution of natural resources as well as human impact on the environment. You will learn about waves and electromagnetic radiation, electric and magnetic forces, and their interplay and formation technologies. Your book is divided into three sub division of science, which is life science, earth science, and physical science. So we'll start with life science. We're going to talk about the cell system, the human body systems, and ecosystems. Then we are going to move to the earth science, which is the human impact on the environment. Also, we are going to talk about the physical science, which is waves, electromagnetic radiation, electricity, and magnetic. We are going to be talking about the cell system. Technically, during this topic, we are going to be talking about the organization and development of living things, which technically means in the particular cells. So while studying the cells structure, you are going to be using models to recognize the cell structure and also conduct investigations to understand the cell structures and functions. Also, you are going to be comparing and contrasting the plant and animal cells. Also explore the primary role of the cell membrane and how it helps the cell to maintain homeostasis and investigate how plants and other organisms use photosynthesis to make food. this life science, which is human body systems, we are going to be talking about how human body organs and their systems interact, which is the main idea of this topic. You will, be, uh, you will demonstrate the interactions among several systems and learn how the nervous system sends and receives messages throughout the body. Also, this topic mainly supports you an understanding of the importance of making healthy lifestyle decisions with regard to the physical and nutritional health. Also, you are going to investigate and explain how the digestive system provides necessary energy to the body's cells in the form of nutrients. Also, you are going to, to be able to determine the relationship between the circulatory and respiratory system, which provide the body with oxygen and remove carbon dioxide as a toxic waste. Science, which is a human impact on the environment. So technically, we are going to talk about the various ways that humans impact Earth system form the context of this topic. You will identify the ways that a growing human population uses and affects the earth, air, land, and water resources, you will also be able to identify ways to mitigate uh, the impact of humans using uh, technology or sustainable use policy. You are going to be able to investigate natural resources obtained from Earth's geosphere and the importance of these resources, and technically, how human activities impact the availability of these resources. Also, you are going to be discussing and learning about why fresh water is a limited resource within Earth's system and how human activities cause fresh water and ocean pollution and how human utilizes technologies and other methods to help limit fresh water and ocean pollution. Part of science, which is waves and electromagnetic radiation. So each day, you encounter many forms of energy transmission through waves. You will explore and examine the different properties of these waves and the way that these waves interact with matter and with each other. You will also learn the ways in which electromagnetic waves 
are particularly relevant to our lives and the technologies that we use every day. You will investigate how sound waves interact with matter through refraction, absorption, transmission, and diffraction, and how properties of materials affect the speed of sound. You will also use model light matter interaction to determine how transparent, translucent, opaque, and colored materials reflect and absorb light. You will also investigate the, way, the ways that waves can react when they strike materials and the effects of interactions between these waves. Science, which is electricity and magnetism. Throughout this topic, you will be introduced to electric forces and magnetic forces and the interaction between them. You will investigate these forces and interaction and learn about the design and, op and operation of electromagnets, motors, and generators. You will identify evidence that electric force is exerted by invisible fields that extend through space and model how the potential energy of two interacting electric charges change. You will also be learning about the magnetic field and also analyzing using diagrams that motors and generators show that the electromagnet moves when it is placed in a magnetic field. Also, you will learn about electric and magnetic interactions and about your entire scholastic year. So this is scholastic year is term one and term two. First semester, um, we are going to be uh, revising our content December 10th and December 11th. And second semester, June 2nd and June 3rd, take into consideration that final exam period, December 12th, all the way to December 21st, and second semester, June 4th, all the way to June 13th. Can't wait to see you and have a lovely and very fruitful scholastic year.